Hey people, today we have chaos, <laughs> but I'm going away, uh, this is the evening, I'm going away tomorrow with work on a thing, so I'm packing and that's why all the drawers are out and I can feel, this is the broken one I have on, I can feel it sliding back, but yeah, today we are doing, to me, a confusing video. And by confusing, I mean that I didn't understand it first. <laughs> because I was invited um, to be a part of this collab. And I just thought of something. I'm going to tell you later. But yeah. Um, and I didn't understand all. Because, you know, English is not my first language. <laughs> um, I just thought, you know, we were doing something. And... We are doing, I think it's called, I'm not so afraid I will say this wrong, but we we are doing a video inspired by fruit or vegetables uh, that we can choose ourselves. And apparently that is called produce, produce, as in produce. I don't know. I have never heard it. I have never heard that expression. And that's why I didn't understand <laughs> you're doing first I was like what do you mean should I produce a video it was so confusing and then people explained what it was called and it's like you know when in the store where you have the vegetables and the fruit I think I should not talk much about this since I'm obviously not I don't know what it's about <laughs> but I know that I can do a video about a vegetable or fruit or something and I was invited by Jennifer, and I'm also afraid I will say her channel wrong. Amethyst Winter? Amethyst Winter? It looks like it's pronounced that. I, I have seen her videos, obviously I'm subscribed, <laughs> but I always, you know, when people say the name, it's like when I say my name or what my channel is called in my language, I don't think people will say that right either like so people call me Jessica Jessica is not my name that's how you would say my name in English but my name is Jessica Jessica that's how you say it Jessica not Jessica but obviously it's okay that people call me that because that's how you would say it in English <laughs> but yeah I'm just making a point but I was invited and I'm so very grateful and all the people that are in this collab will be linked down below um, I don't want to mention everyone just like that because maybe there is someone coming in later or yeah dropping out or, or anything that happens sometimes when there is a lot of people involved so yeah I just want to mention the one who actually invited me and created this so it will be very interesting to see what everyone has created, but I can't watch it when it goes up because I'm going away. So that will be a lot of fun for me to watch this week to watch. And I have already done my base and my brows were, well, I was listening to something and suddenly I had very dark, intense brows. And they had, don't have the shape that they normally, I don't know what happened here. And then I had to compensate here. Anyway, today I'm using, I was going to say that I'm using a pal two palettes I have never used, but now I'm wondering if I have used this. No, I don't think I have used this, because I chose the two vegetables that I think of right away, and the ones that I think most people think are boring, but it's, you know, if I'm doing a salad, that's what I take, you know. And that that's tomato and and cucumber. Which is so weird to say in English because that's not what it's called in Swedish. <laughs> tomato is called tomat, so we just lost a syllable there. And cucumber is called gurka. <laughs> it's such a weird word, but cucumber is also a very weird word. Very weird word. Yeah, and I was thinking of what I was going to do. And I thought, you know, oh, I have a shade that is called tomato, I think. But then I changed my mind, I think. 
I don't think I will use that, but I thought of using these. So this is the Smoke Sessions palette from Melt. I haven't used this yet, but I wanted to because now I'm soon getting two new ones. So I'm going to use the greens from this and I'm going to use Blushing Berries from um, those of colors. And it's also berries. So maybe I will take in that palette anyway. We'll see, but it looks like that. So it's not super red red, so I'm actually Wait, now I'm back. I have the Color Splurge palette from Labelle. I hate how this looks. This is the one of the most boring packaging, but it's so pretty and nice. I've used this a few times. And there is a shade called Tomato or Tomato. <laughs> but yeah, so that I will use as well with the berries. And there is a black in it. Maybe there is a black in this one as well. No. So let's do something and I may try glitter because I'm going to use a glitter tomorrow and I just want to make sure that it works. And in honor of this, I have used my color corrector green one today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so let's see if you hear something, it's my neighbors. There's a pretty green in that as well. Yeah. Never mind. And there is not a light matte in that one. I think I'm going to do green on the lid and red under the eye. Actually. So I'm actually going to have to use the green in this one. Because there is only a matte dark green in the smoke, smoke, smoke sessions palette. And I don't want to use that. I'm using emerald and maybe I'm doing this all wrong and when you see all the other videos you're like you failed all the other people did different things well I'm sorry but I asked <laughs> and this is the information I got so if I'm stupid then that be it have I fucked up my base here because this was hard too That was weird. Do I have another the brush? Maybe we'll use this one. Gumbal. Sluta. Gumbal. Ja du. Now when I use this brush, it turns out to be another green. <laughs> That's interesting that it looks so different if it's a failure. I, I have to have the mirror closer, I'm sorry. And the sound will probably be terrible. And yeah, it's just a matter of time before I'm going to have to realize that I will use the nice camera I have bought. But I'm so nervous because I have never used that and I'm so afraid I will mess up. God, it's a mess in here. But yeah. Now we're talking. Now I can see what I'm doing. Like that. That's my god, how do my brows look? <laughs> well, I'm going to uh, take a shower and wash this off right away. So, never mind. Ooh. And I'm going to have to pack, but I can't pack my makeup because I'm using my makeup tomorrow. That is a bit annoying. But, yeah. but I'm actually, I don't have to drive to work at least. I'm working like four hours and then we're taking off. But um, my dad is picking me up. So I don't have to drive. That's nice. It's so weird because when you take this green and you know blend it, it almost looks like a blue. Oops. <laughs> blue greeny shade, more cool tone. But then when you take this brush 
and make it more pack on and compact it looks more green 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 <laughs> you know what I mean We maybe have to fix this later, but this brush is amazing. If I buy more brushes from Sigma, I will buy this. E45, people. Now, I want to use the Smoke Session palette. I will take the dark green called Space Queen. Oops. By the way, I've been meaning to say this for like five videos or something uh, and then actually Paulina talked about it in her video that was kind of funny that we both thought of that I'm taking my Linda Haldai brush as well here um, soon but it's the thing you know um, I have said this a lot of times in my videos but I'm not feeling well and I have not been for a very long time it comes and goes and you know, it's, it's always like, if you talk about not feeling well, and of course the people that care for you ask you, and then if you don't, you know, then it, it's, this is not a critique to anyone, but it's like, oh, but then you are fine, because I don't talk about it in another video, but it's like this, it just doesn't go away, and I've been feeling very sad for... A long time it's not like someone can do anything it's just me but it's nice that people care so I hope it this doesn't come off as critique of any kind that's not what I mean at all I guess I'm not used to people caring <laughs> but um, yeah that was what I was going to say but uh, when I feel like that it's like yeah I don't record as much as I usually do and I don't watch YouTube that much. I have not watched hardly anything. I have watched some videos, but not a lot. And it's, you always feel bad when you are not watching. This is not an easy shade. <laughs> when you don't watch your friends. Um, because I usually watch and I comment. I usually comment every time I watch. Not all the time, but usually. Um, because I usually have something... That I feel like say, <laughs> but not all the time. But you feel so bad that you don't watch and you don't like and you don't comment and support and you don't, you know, keep up. But it's like my friends are all down below and I'm more, of course, and I just can't keep up. And that stresses me out, which is ridiculous because if someone told me, you know, I don't watch all your videos, it's not like I'm sad. It's just like, I can't expect you to watch all my videos and if you're pe people if you're a person that you know do a lot of videos maybe every day and so on it's really hard to keep up and that feels so terrible because you want to watch everything you don't want to miss anything and I just hope all my friends understand if I haven't commented or something like that it's not that I don't like you or that you're not interesting it's just me it's just about me I'm I'm not in my best place and there will come a time where I watch again and then I will probably binge watch a lot but at the same time it's okay to not watch everything and I'm sorry I don't know what to say or what I want to say with this but I just want to mention it because I feel such a science anxiety over like for instance if Molly puts out videos and I don't watch them or uh, comment and maybe she wonders you know you always comment you always watch and what has happened she hasn't said anything I'm just taking an example but I'm, I'm so sorry if you feel like I don't watch not like it's not like you think it's important that I watch. But if someone is wondering, that's the reason. I hope you understand what I mean. 
otherwise go watch Paulina's video she will explain it better this is a shade that is so hard to work with but when you do it it looks fine or good except here like that but it blended out fine here so tickle Let's take a shimmer. Mm. I wish I had a better shimmer brush. Let's take that one. I'm going to take the Darker shimmer, noon green. I'm taking it out here. Ooh, that was pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's that shade. So I'm going to take, you know, all three shades, I think. Oh my god, how pretty. Have to fix that layer. Oops. Then I'm taking the next shade, sweet tooth. God. These shimmers are amazing. I love them. Even though I don't like the theme of this palette. Oh, I was so annoyed. Today when I was at work, I suddenly got a message from Beauty Bay. Um... The app on Beauty Bay saying, oh, the controversy palette is in stock. The bundle, the conspiracy and the controversy palette are in stock. And I was like, what? So I rushed in and I was like, no. What was that all about? Did anyone else get that? Was that a joke? Not appreciated. Now I'm taking Blue Dream. Was it, was, is it called Blue Dream? Isn't it a green? Maybe blue green. God, these are so pretty. Oh my god, so happy I chose this uh, palette. I had it the mask. I hope you have watched the video where I visit Angelica. Uh, she has the video, the Get Ready With Us video on her channel. That is long, as they usually are. But it was so fun. And then uh, uh, we did a video, a tag video on my channel where we tested out wigs. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> it was so fun. Now I just want to clean this up a bit. Now we're taking red. I don't know where I see. Let's see. I'm taking the dark in blushing berries. The reddish brown. Oh, it goes. Out in the outer corner here. Do I have fun out? I'm not decided what to wear yet tomorrow. What kind of makeup look? 
I don't want to take a palette because I'm doing the makeup in the morning, but I have to take it with me because my eyes it won't last, you know. But I don't want to take something that I'm afraid I will break. At the same time, I want to have something good, you know. Now let's take the tomato singing. I love the shade Barbie in this one, by the way. These are all mattes, but <laughs> they are so nice. It's just a shame it's such a cheap packaging. It's actually a packaging I would consider, you know, decorate myself because I think it's terrible. I'm so fed up with ordering right now because I'm so fed up. That was, 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 was that was what I was going to. I'm so fed up with customer services and things being wrong that it's up to here. I have asked, like, if for instance, I have still have problem with Peachy Queen. I have not received my palette, and that makes me not want to order the Friends palette, even though Friends is my favorite show on earth and Mars and yeah whatever and I still have problem with Anastasia Beverly Hills that are not paying for their own wrongdoing and I have asked makeup uh, no what they're called makeup a murder because I want to order from them and it says that international shipping are free after a certain amount but it says $22 in my uh, cart and I have asked them, I have sent emails, I have sent on Instagram, and then I wrote on a post that they made, hello, I have tried to contact you, and then they answered my um, message on Instagram and asked for a picture, I sent a picture, two weeks later they have still not responded, so I asked again on a, uh, on a post they made and said, you are not responding to me, what am I going to do? And they responded in... Then they went and looked at the Instagram message and they responded, email us instead, we answered there. But I have emailed you. And that makes me think, you know, I'm not going to order from these places because if something is going wrong, like they most certainly will do, I know that there won't be any help. You know, you have to have better customer service. And even though Anastasia is now a big brand, they had great customer service the last time I had a problem. But they at least respond, kind of. Uh, but these small indie brands, it freaks me out. I get so freaking mad that they don't respond. Because what are you going to do? I won't order from you if you don't respond, at least. Then you may not respond with the answer I want. But at least you're responding. I'm sorry, but I just get so frustrated when I get problems with... That, you know, it's not that hard. You don't have a million customers. I know you are a one-person brand. But at least freaking answer. Email us at this email address. Or write on Instagram. Yeah, but check it. Check it. And now this is almost all the way back. <laughs> this looks nice. Now I'm going to try the glitter. Please don't mess it up. Can I use this? Maybe this. Because I don't want to take it. This is Pixie Crystalline, or what it's called. It's like a holographic glitter. It's not like I need any, but I just want to. Maybe I have to put it directly here. But I just want to try and see what it does if it moves around the shadow. Like that. Because I have a bad experience. This will soon go back, so you know. But with these, that they crease and they just peel off. Not pixie per se, but liquid shadows. I keep buying them and hoping for the best, but you know, there it went. I 
I don't get that much on the brush. Or I get too much, maybe. Like that. Just want to see how this wears. Now I'm going to do the rest and I will be back. And I love this look. It actually looks like a Christmas look. <laughs> it was not on purpose, but it turned out. And so far, I only had it on for, you know, five minutes or so. And I know I look terrible, but yeah. But so far, this looks freaking unbelievable. And it didn't mess up the uh, shadow underneath because a lot of people complain about that, but no. Not at all, and now it's dry. So pretty. And of course, I use this. Isn't it interesting? Because I was going to, you know, oh, maybe I should try a lip liner because I never, never use lip liner. But when I was at Angelica, I realized, yeah, maybe you should. I don't have a single eyeliner that looks like this. So I have to take this. I had like 10 red, and they are not this red at all. I don't have that. I love I love this lipstick. I love this formula. I need to buy more because red doesn't always go well with everything. I like this. And yeah, I'm keeping this on because my hair is so greasy and I'm going to wash it. But I really like this look. Maybe it doesn't look like cucumber and tomatoes. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, then we can pretend it's a Christmas look. Aren't people always doing like that? I don't know. I really like it anyway. And I really like, now I only used, you know, one shade from this palette, but that was excellent. And this, oh my god, the matte were a little bit hard to work with because it's so pigmented. And it's a green, <laughs> and it's probably a pressed pigment or something. But if you just take the time with that, that I can think is worth taking the time with because it looks excellent if you blend it out perfectly. And of course, the shade in um, La Belle, I love this palette. I love this palette. And the shimmers, they would look excellent, you know, without the glitter, but. How will the look gold look like? Because there is a... Ooh. And is that a green or a brown? That is like a green. It's a mustardy brown greenish matte. I'm terrible. <laughs> but those are really pretty. Yeah, I like both the sides, but I'm not going to use those right now. But god this is pretty and i'm hoping to have it on a little while before i'm going to take it off and take a shower god i wish i had good hair so i could take good pictures but that's life yeah don't drag it out please uh this is my final look i really hope i made right it made you know it justice and please go watch all the beautiful people down below. I have linked them all. And yeah, I should call this my Christmas look instead. <laughs> but it is cucumber and tomatoes. It's just not, I didn't realize. I just thought, you know, green, red. But I should have used different. But this green is kind of like the, uh, the outside of the cucumber. And we can pretend it's glittery on the inside. And I used the tomato shade. So, yeah, I think I did good. Yeah, oh, I wish I could take a picture, you know, with my hair properly. Yeah, never mind. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me be a part of this collab. And I just sliced me. <laughs> and 
Yeah. That was awesome.